Okay, so to make the caramel sauce, um, you would like to use uh, a very heavy saucepan. Um, I'm using the um, enamel coated cast iron. Um, it's very old, um, but it still works very well because um, when you're cooking the sugar to such a high temperature, um, the heavier gauge your saucepan, the better. Okay, so in um, the saucepan, I have my eight ounces of granulated sugar along with my cream of tartar. Um, you want to use enough water to mix until um, you make a wet sand mixture, approximately a quarter of a cup. I don't necessarily measure. I just pour some water in. Uh, then I use my fingers to very carefully stir the wet sand mixture so that I don't have any um, dry bits of granulated sugar stuck on the bottom of my saucepan that have not um, been moistened. After I do this, also just using uh, some water, get the uh, sugar off my fingers, dip my fingers in some clean water and brush down the insides of the saucepan to ensure that I don't have any remaining granules of sugar on the sides of the pan. Now I'm ready to start cooking. Okay, um, start cooking on high heat um, and let the sugar um, come to a rapid boil. And then you're gonna watch uh, for the caramel color to start to form. As the sugar boils, um, you wanna be careful, stand back a little bit, um, but look to see if there's any um, sugar crystals that you see on the sides, insides of the saucepan or forming on the surface of the sugar. If um, any crystals start to form, it might um, continue to seed your batch of sugar and uh, ruin it um, so that you would um, most likely have to start over. Once the crystallization process begins, you usually can't um, stop it. But if you do see some crystals, you can take a pastry brush dipped in water and brush down the inside. As the sugar continues to cook, um, the steam subsides because the water has mostly evacuate, e evaporated and you can see the sugar mixture becomes um, much thicker. Um, and uh, the bubbles are um, forming rapidly, but it, it's not such a watery mixture. This is when it's getting close um, to the caramel stage. In addition, in the meantime, I um, took my four ounces of cream in a Pyrex container and I gently warmed it in the microwave so that it's not ice cold when I am going to add it to the caramel sugar. Okay, so the sugar is um, turning caramel color now, very light color. I'm gonna take the saucepan and I'm gently gonna move it so that the um, sugar that's turning brown will mix evenly all the way around. Now I start to get some smoke and I start to get the smell of the burnt sugar, but just at the very beginning, then as soon as I see that dark color, I pull it off. Okay, so I have my caramelized sugar off the heat, my warm cream, and I'm gonna pour very slowly. As I pour, the sugar starts to um, spitter and spatter, so I go very slowly so it doesn't come out of the pan. As I'm pouring the cream, this stops the cooking process. So I do have a dark, dark caramel, but it's not going, it doesn't continue to cook as soon as I start to add the cream. I get all, let it, let the bubbles subside, get all the cream in. I like to just use a metal spoon. You could use a whisk for this as well. But now you want to stir. It's still bubbling. It's off the heat, the bubbles are gonna uh, sort of subside. 
as it does, you want to stir it um, to make sure that the cream hasn't separated from the sugar. You want to see that you have a um, an evenly mixed um, caramel sauce. If it's separated, you can put it back on a low heat um, and continue to stir it. Let it boil slightly and this will, um, as you stir it, it will come back together. But I think you can see here, I won't need to put it back on the heat. I think it looks good. Okay, now that the caramel sauce is nice and smooth, the cream is all mixed in. You can see um, it has an, a nice deep amber or uh, brown color. I'm going to add my rum, stir that in, bubbles up a little. There's still a ton of heat in this caramel sauce. So the, um, even though you're adding the alcohol off uh, the stove, the alcohol will cook off just from the residual heat of the sauce. Then after, after that mixes in, I'm also going to make the orange caramel sauce. So first I'm going to add my orange juice. And then um, I have the zest to add to, which I will do in just a second. <laughs> Have my zest. And now I have my uh, burnt caramel orange uh, 